Yep, indeed. And right now, Lusty already slowly getting bursted down, though. But we can see a clash happening right now as Killer is going to jump in further forward. This Jeff Beauty forever. Can you go for the defenses? Honda goes for the Tyrant's Revenge. Yep, the Mortalities are up, though, so it's not going to be a very easy lineup to get rid of here for Evos, but they're making work of it. Everyone's very low. RFL going down, penalty zone as well. Only locks down to Hagi going for the bat, going for Jay here. They'll be silenced by the Helker, and everyone just suffering a lot of damage here. Killer coming in to save the day here. Will he clean it up? Forces Jeff Giddy for an escape, but will be saved by the rest of his team. Wow, just look at that sustain from these two teams. I mean, and the flickers as well. Uh, this really speaks a lot here uh, by the side that these two teams are not easy to burst out. But Evo's PH are able to get the tier 3 tower in the top lane, which is so crucial because that allows them to like dictate the map, you know, trying to make sure that Archangel does not get to the jungle, although right now they are going to the jungle, but it's actually creating a lot of space for them to like slow down Archangel in this game. Yeah, a lot of uh, respect as well being given by Evo's, not mm -hmm. try to overcommit too much. They know that Archangel still very powerful and they know if they get wiped out once our angel can go straight to the base they have more physical damage output compared to evo's ph and they are not afraid to use it and you know evo's ph they know this so they try to wait out that lord area instead soon. shove the minion wave just in time for the big fight yep indeed the damage items for these two teams are really good because Archangel, they've got a lot of physical damage. Evos, if you look at their item counts, we did mention the BODs, and then we see a Divine Glaive here on the side of Doofin. And that's actually... And for them to actually survive on these team fights is actually really good, and it's actually going to make this game so interesting. And it's really going to be... Base, the basis now on this team fight is, like, who executes the spells perfectly now that they're all super tanky? Like, even your damage items might not be enough for these two teams. It's yeah, a matter right. of positioning. Yeah, and positioning where Haji is right now. Look at where he is. I mean, the Archangel is expecting it. I don't think they know that Haji wants to go for that. Oh, rock. no. Oh, that's who beat one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He could go down here, but Honda's going to save him a little bit here. Jeff Keely forever on his tail. He has a lot of damage. And looks like Evos, they want to call for the attack. Oh no, look at this though, Jeff Cutie forever. Can he actually get bursted down though? As Jay is going to go for the last insanity onto the huge crowd indeed. Oh, but look at that damage out first though. That's going to be big as Honda is going to go for the crowd control prowess. Can get caught there by Kilowash. However, two members on the side of Evos PH, low in HP, but so is Kilowash. However, can Honda go down? Oh, Honda. Yes, he does go down, but in return, they get Kilowash. No damage dealer though. They could go for other targets though as Killer gets slaughtered by Rio. Oh, this is going to be big though as Jay is going to jump in with another set of last hits. Sanity. Can Haji run Haji. away? Can Haji run He's away? Stay up. Dexter He's still for alive. The sacrifice. Oh, they play around and Doofus gets a kill on the Rio. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Lusty still keeping everyone alive. Those are very low members from Evos and the immortality is still on the X board. Yep, indeed. Archangel's lineup is super beefy compared to Evo's PH because the only source of, like, tankiness on Evo's PH is certainly Kufra. I mean, sure, you got Rafaela, but then you have to add the fact that Archangel has a very tanky lineup and they also have the necessary damage to burst you out. So that's what they have to watch out, watch out for. Yeah, and right now the Lord can be taken out here. Very easy target here for Evo's. However, of course, since they do have that Rafaela healing, but... Archangel gonna be there to save and see if they can reset with the help of Lusty on the Grok. And Lusty on the Grok, that is historically yeah. one of the most powerful removal, I mean, uh, steel tools that you could have for a Lord or a Turtle. Yep, indeed. History has shown that Lusty has like one of the, uh, he has, he's a steel leader, yeah. you know, the Lord steals leader without a doubt. And certainly he will live up to the name if he gets this Lord. I mean, his reputation has been so phenomenal. Like, look at this game. It's already reaching 25 minutes already. And can because... we go for the record, <laughs> the world record one hour game here? Can we do that? I don't know. I mean, if there was a game to do it, maybe it would be this. Just because everyone's just so creepy. <laughs> right? So it, it could happen. I mean, it could happen. in another MOBA game, it lasted for three hours for so one game. It's not so weird, I guess. So, okay. you know what? It the could last for an hour. Cell phone batteries are dying out, you know? <laughs> Maybe that could work here, but looks like everything else 
They're going on the side of the Honda right now, going for the dive on the J. Lusty very nearby though, so they're not going to be too afraid. However, of course, they are playing with fire here, ladies and gents, no pun intended. Yep, indeed, playing, playing with fire without a doubt, obviously with J, but of, of obviously with the damage outwards here by Archangel. And so far, both teams are actually eyeing themselves against each other with yeah. the grass. Honda, okay. Can this actually work out well? On to Jay here. Get some of that true damage down from those flame missiles. Now, it's going to be a question. Who are they going to go for? Honda misses on to the jump again. Has two people under the mounting ball. But everyone, is, Jesus. <laughs> they're really not doing anything to each other at this point. Yep, indeed. This is so intense without a doubt that Honda's just really going to pressure things. Okay, there's a Tyrant's Rage right, popped out. starting to really, really up the tempo here. Jay has everyone really heated up as well. Okay, Honda's going to jump in with that Tyrant's Revenge, though. Guardian's Barrier popped out, but there's a stun. There's a stun onto Jeff Cutie forever. I don't know who to watch, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, me too everyone's as well. Just, okay, it's going to be the diamond collapse in the middle of the fight. Everyone's pretty low here. Oh, my God. Jeff Cutie forever. He's playing with it. He has the passive. He has the resistance. He knows it. And then Mortality as well going to be there. Everyone's just getting beefed up there by that fire. And yeah. now... Oh wow, my goodness, indeed. That was that you know, there's no there's not a lot of damage being deployed. Okay, maybe not though as Honda's gonna get caught. Can he actually run away? There's actually Jay popping out that ultimate, but the evils oh, finally get the tower. It. They got the big minions on the bottom lane, knock up on Hell on oh. the bike too. Oh the tanks, the front line of Archangel! They're starting that wheel down! Honda gonna go down, but everyone else is on the chase. Oh, this is not looking good here on this side. Oh, wild charge there by Lusty, producing a lot of damage. They get doofing, but he does live on, but maybe not. As Rio gets the finishing touches. Wow, it's good. The export damage, the last insanity is back online. That's a kill on the Honda. 58 seconds of no tank and no cushion. My goodness, Archangel could actually pull up the comeback of the century here against Evo's PH. I mean, they did lose the Tier 3 tower, but the wild charge by Lusty. You know, I thought Lusty made a blunder with the Guardian's Barrier trapping Archangel in front of the Tyrant's Rage. But no, he made up for that with that last ditch attempt. That's a and nice wild charge, which produced a lot of damage to burst out Evos. Going for the Lord here. This is what I was talking about. The heart of the champion goes for the chase. Immortality will be popped there. And oh, a no. shutdown on the Haji. Haji goes down. Dexter might go down. Guardian's Barrier. Dexter, where will you go? Hide and seek does not work anymore. Because you're going to get caught. And they get a kill on the Dexter. Archangel, they're doing it. They're doing it. I don't think they even need the Lord at this point. Just go straight for the win. But they will still respect that Evo. They still have some cards in the deck. Dupin and Honda are back up. Minions are pushing on the top lane. And this Lord is going down a bit slower than I thought it would. But it will not be contested. Archangel, take it up. Yep, and I like the zone out there by Archangel. Jeff Cutie forever was in the mid lane. Just to provide the distraction tactics, forcing Evo Speed to be stuck on the mid lane. And it also allowed Dupin to actually go with Honda as well. So yeah. it's really a good strategy here by Archangel. And they could actually end the game as Honda's gonna get caught there. He is surrounded by four members of Archangel. Water damage, Kalua dives in, slows down, and no silence for the Gushin. That is all they need. Haji's one man defense. I don't think he can pull it off. Rafael gonna go down. Dexter, can he make a difference? I don't think so. Haji, very, very low, has the execution. Oh no! Again. And Archangel. the push, and the last hits. Oh no, no, no. the kill on them! Oh no! My goodness! Death Death kill Beauty. Him. It wants to go through the damage! And the damage Day. is coming from Day. Day. It's death. Day. the damage! Oh my goodness! Gracious! Like Popable! That. Oh my god!